What is up, Cog Squad? Well, maybe we can finish that porch roof today. What's up, guys? Jason over here at Cog Kill. You know, we got the door put in. Then I had my accident. We wasn't able to finish that porch roof for the coop. So we're gonna try to get that done today. Got farm chores to do, babies to take care of. Thomas right here. So let's get started. Go goats. Let's feed the goats. What's up, guys? <laughs> they crazy, ain't they? Look out, Mallard! Come on, put some in this one real quick. Before they knock you down. There you go. Now. Now we got it. Y'all don't like, y'all don't like Tip. I mean, come on. There you go. Go on, show Tip some love. Tip. You can't eat all that food. Waters look good. Are they still laying eggs in here? Yeah, somebody laid a round egg. A round one? Uh-uh, round. It is pretty round. The mineral bucket is empty. We gotta swap that out. All right. Let's do that then. Let's go get the other mineral bucket. Huh, it is. Girls on one side, boys on the other. That's fun. Crazy. Alright, let's see here. Let's get a new mineral bucket. Alright, drop it down. Here we go. Done. Uh oh, there's Scott. Spring is in the air. So that's where your little ducklings. Mm -hmm. Let's clean our pool out. Yeah. There you go. I like these little cup babies because you can set it down in there and it keeps. Yeah, that is a pretty cool duck water. If you guys have ducks and see one of these, it's worth it. I'll see if I can find it on Amazon, put it on our Amazon page. That way you guys can check it out. And also, if you don't know, I do have like an Amazon page and I try to put everything that I possibly can that we use here on our farm because we do get asked a lot, hey, where'd you get that? Hey, where'd you get that? So always remember to check out that Amazon store or page or whatever Amazon calls it. And there's a link down below that'll take you there. Got it? That's what's cool about this is if you know ducks are extremely messy. So you can just lift these little cups out and clean them out and put the little cup back in. Because the ducks mix their food and water they together. They mix the food and water together. They get mouthfuls of food and they come running over here and they dump it in the water. Yep. Then they eat it. <laughs> Alright little ducklings. We'll catch you guys later. Oh. <laughs> Y'all hear old Thomas over there? He's over there gobbling. <laughs> oh, here comes a mallard flying. Look. <laughs> they stay at the creek.
What's up, Big Tommy? What's up, Big Tommy? JP! What's going on, JP? <laughs> it's, well, it's it's really loud right now because everybody's laying eggs. It's springtime, so oh, your chickens. I mean, ours are free range, so they probably don't need oyster shells. But oyster shells is calcium that makes their egg shells hard or harder. That's one reason that you want your chickens to have calcium. A lot of times, you'll notice that your shells break real easy. Or if you're gathering, y'all hear Scott. <laughs> y'all gonna have six months of that. <laughs> but you'll go to gather eggs and you'll notice that they'll bump maybe one another and then both eggs crack. So that may be a sign that you need to add a little more calcium. But oyster shells is usually a cheap way to give your chickens uh, calcium. And you can find them at probably any feed store. Another thing we've done, if we've gone on like vacation to the beach, we'll uh, we'll fill up buckets full of seashells, or mainly broken seashells, and bring them home, and the chickens love it. One other thing they kind of look for, especially stuff like this, because these are oyster shells, they can't go bad. This one's a busted bag. And so we got it for, uh, you know, maybe half off or something like that. So kind of look for deals like that in your uh, in your feed seed store. You'll be surprised how many deals you can find like this. Hey, Pink. What's up, Pink? What's up, Pinky? You beautiful girl. We got everything taken care of this morning, so no need to come down here and putting your hoof down. She's relentless. Oh my gosh. Hey, Carl. We might need to put her somewhere. I had no idea that she was sitting. I thought she was just laying. I thought she was just laying too. Go in there and see how many it is. Holy cow. I'm just going to... We just come in here to get some hay for some nesting boxes. And this is what we came to. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, seven, eight, nine, ten, I think ten. Seven, She's got 12? A dozen chicks. Go, go. I'm guessing this is a Diane, baby. This one looks like it's wearing a crown. I bet that all these black ones are roosters. Oh, don't say that. We got enough roosters. Yeah, tell Mama that Go-Go has... I will tell Mama Go-Go has a missing baby. 12 babies. Go, go. No, we wasn't expecting no babies. That's I crazy. We just came in here to get some hay. We wasn't expecting that. Hi. At all. All right, go, go. They just hatched, too. Yeah. They ain't been, they probably be a day or two old. Yeah. All right. We'll leave this open so she can get out. Yeah. I'm going to crack it, though. Go-Go's a good mama, though. She knows how to take care of babies. Let's get Go-Go and her baby some food. Yeah. All right, here we got a, here's a water. Pete, Pete, look at Pete and Tom. What y'all doing over there? Y'all plotting? Y'all probably making a list of farm chores for us to do tomorrow. Go. Gotta get that schedule made. All right, so you got your feeder. You got the water. All right, fill the water up. Chicks. Gotcha. You know where your chick starter is? Okay, I'll get the chick starter. I'll get it. You get the chick starter? All right, here you go. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, quit hissing. Nobody's getting your babies. Our eggs. Go, go. Here we got y'all some water. And mama's coming with the feed. Look at a little called up. Look at that all right, go go. We got you fixed up, girl. Got y'all some food and water. All right. <laughs> Let's uh, we need to check on the quail. Hey, Scott. What are you doing out there? Easy. He's up, young. See the boy. That feed water look okay. Need water, okay. I get it. All right. That feed or anything. Boopsie, what's up, beautiful? Got old top up there. Chilling on a picnic table. We finally got some pretty weather. Yeah. Tips over there doing who knows what. Oh, we're gonna lay down. I hear y'all. Y'all better not let peaches catch y'all. Little quick egg update. The quail eggs we put in there in the little few videos ago are doing just fine. Turkey eggs. Where are the turkey eggs? You said you candled these? Yeah. You want to candle one? Mm -hmm. See how they're looking? Somebody asked us, what do we write the eggs with? That's good. And uh, it's crayons. We use crayons. Or pencils. Or pencils. That's what you want to use. Uh, those will not hurt the eggs because these eggs are porous. There's tiny holes in the eggs. So you have to be careful what you put on them. But crayons or pencils work well. Crayons that you can really see. Yeah. So turkey eggs, you saw that one was fertile. You I said you checked them all, there's one that wasn't fertile, mm -hmm. right? I use pencil on this one, it's just a sea bright egg. Oh, it's a sea bright egg, okay. Yeah, and you can't really show up. Yeah, the crayon looks better. Mm hmm It's hard to see when it's there's something nothing in this one, is it? Oh, there's something. Oh, you got something in this one? What's in it? Some goose eggs. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see them now. Look. Yeah, it's fertile. <laughs> it's fertile, all right. Typical fashion goose and duck eggs, or that's fertile. Yeah. Or was, yeah. generally pretty nasty. Yeah. Just like them. I didn't realize that the scopies aren't as nasty as normal ducks. <laughs> no, but they're still nasty. All right, good deal. Egg update. Lots of eggs. Lots of eggs. All right, I'm gonna go down there and put that roof on. Hey, Peach, I'm thinking about maybe trying to finish putting the roof on that porch. Um, Mrs. Cocky is up there doing the tile, so I might need you to help me hand me, hand me some stuff if you're cool with it. Thinking she's gonna eat that? No. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can finish this roof. All right, time, time. Let's see if we can't finish this porch roof today. That was my intentions on that day when I put the automatic door in was to finish this roof, but you know, things happen. And it's supposed to rain at some point today, so I really would love to get this done before the rain comes. <laughs> Porch is done. <laughs> Woo! Can't dance too good up here. Might be a spot in the coop. <laughs> Have this awesome leftover prayer flag from my garden, and then I'm gonna put it across the front of the porch. I think that look cool, don't you think, Thomas? Hey, Tom. You know, we're pretty much done. You know it? 
we pretty much done. Now all we really do need to do now is, is probably the next couple days just load everybody up and lock them in this coop so maybe they'll start roosting in here now. You and Peaches talk about it. Y'all come up with a plan, let me know. Hey, if you missed any video about us building that coop, check out that playlist right over here. I got every video that we did pertaining to that coop. Also, if you're interested in any cock hill farm gear like our cog squad shirt, check out that link right down below me. And if you're new to the channel, love what you see, hit that subscribe button right over there.